Matt, it's always good to look back. It seems like an eternity ago now, just a couple of weeks though, the Christmas period. How did that go for you and the venue staff? Brilliant, yeah. Uh, still recovering a little bit, um, but really fantastic. We had some brilliant nights here. Um, our, our party nights went really, really well, better than we actually imagined. Uh, everybody seemed to have a really good time and all the feedback we've had about the food and the experience they had on those nights was really positive. So something to build on next year again. Uh, we're going to see what else we can do to make it bigger and better. But fantastic, everything we, we seem to have done over the Christmas period, we're really chuffed. Not just looking back though, but we're here to look forward. Lots of activities planned for the venue. Let's start off with the playgroup. Yeah, playgroup on a Wednesday morning. So we've got a new playgroup uh, leader, Callie. Uh, she does a fantastic job with the children, you know, really keeps them occupied so as the, the mothers can sit and chat and, uh, and see what's happened the previous week um, and also to plan the week ahead for them because it's, it's always difficult uh, with little ones. Um, but yeah, nine o'clock on a, on a Wednesday morning, so you get squash, a hot drink, uh, some toast as well. So really good for the children and the, the kids love it. You know, they come and have a good time, they go in a soft play, uh, have a run around, Cali play some games with them. So I think everybody enjoys it, the parents and children alike. And we think that the first team have a short close season when they end one campaign and come back for training. But the Monday Night League, that's incredibly short. Finish in January and back a couple of weeks later in February. Hey, no rest is there, Rev. You know, we like to keep these lads on their feet. Um, yeah, so finishing on the 21st of January this season. Seems to have only been a couple of weeks ago we started, but yeah, six months ago we started. So really good season as well. Obviously we've had a team in it as well. And uh, we've performed valiantly, I think is the word, Rev. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the first week of February, we've got the new league starting. So if anybody's looking for any you know, football action on a Monday night, come on down and see if you'd like to join in. But it's really good fun. Everybody enjoys it. There's some competitive leagues, but there's also, you know, the low, lower leagues are more fun and a bit more relaxed paced, shall we say. Ready for it. <laughs> Just for us, it is. Well, if it was me, Matt, we'd be looking at a 60s night. That's more akin to my generation, but you're a little bit younger than me. And we have a 90s night coming up in February, but also raising money for a charity. Yeah, we've got a 90s night on the 23rd of February. Um, our good friend Nicola Barkley is arranging that for the Mine charity. Uh, so another, another great night ahead, hopefully. Uh, we've still got a few tickets available, so if anybody's interested, then you know, give us a shout and we'll put you in the right direction. But yeah, another, another great night with some great bands in there as well. You know, we've got an Oasis versus Richard Ashcroft event as well, so it should be, should be another brilliant night here, hopefully. And while we're still in February, loves, hugs and kisses all round, we have a Valentine's Day special. Valentine's Day, yeah. So we're, we're trying to be a little bit different and looking at the other side of Valentine's Day for those singletons out there. So we're, we're looking at having a take me out evening. So I'm going to be Paddy McGuinness for the night. <laughs> not, not sure how good of a Paddy McGuinness impression I can do, but I'll give it a go. Uh, so we're looking for contestants, both male and female. To, to partake in the, in the hopefully fun and games and should be a little bit different to a normal Valentine's Day for some. This sounds very interesting. And then into March, uh, perhaps a little bit more serious, Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day, you know, come on down. We're, we're looking at what we can do for, our, for all those loved mothers out there. Um, we're going to be doing some fantastic deals on food and drink. So again, this is the place to be and we'll make sure you have a really good night. And talking of food and drink, looking ahead to June, a gin and food festival. What more could you ask for? Gin and food. It's my two favourite things in the world. Um, yeah, so gin and food is going to be our first, first one here. Uh, we're going to have some live music. We've got a lot of gin stalls coming, a lot of different gin companies. So um, try every sort of different gin under the sun. Uh, we're going to have some live music. We're going to have a barbecue outside. Uh, so it should be a really good couple of days on the 1st and 2nd of June, uh, so come on down and give it a, give it a try.